bit of exciting news. Got a new addition to the fleet. Loads of people were saying, why don't you paint the wheels on the fence black? Well, the reason I've not is because I've already got something and it's arrived with black wheels. And I must say it's rubbish. I thought it would go like fly around the yard and it's just, it's a bit poor. So you get what you pay for. Sorry, Howard, for coming off. Got this regulator to go on the compressor so that we can control the airflow for the spray gun and also it takes moisture out. But I need to reduce the fitting down because it's that's got a big hole, that's got a little hole. So I'm just gonna go to the hydraulics place and get some pipe fitting so we can drop it down. Good news, the pallet company has managed to find the pallet that they lost of seed stock, so hopefully they'll be delivered today. And that means that there'll be plenty of stock in Spaldings. If anyone needs one, you can ring them up. Just been hydro scan now. Dead helpful, got that now, which is the uh, the right fittings now, so that'll plug on the end of the compressor. Then I also got a couple of these. These screw on the test valves on the tractor air tanks so that we can blow tyres up so we keep losing them. So got a new one there, so I've got a, a tyre fitter on that and we'll be right. And then also an army march is on its stomach, so the McDonald's are still doing breakfast in, so lads have got some between. Got this as well, so we can plug that in there and then end up with two airlines coming off the same compressor and then we'll put one up over the roof so it dangles down by the ramp. Drill's nearly out now. I should cut some slots in some of the screws to get them out. Fix that dent in it as well. Just in the shed, I'm walking past the fence. Obviously, we got this hitch last week. Anyway, it's really good because you can still leave it on and drive trailers. And Sam had the drill on the other day, and it just lives out the way. And you leave it, you pull that handle, and you just slide it up and down where you want it to be. I mean, if you're obviously using the PTO, you'd have to go a bit higher, but it's quite good that it can like live with the tractor. Andrew's fuel tank is all clean now. It looks mint inside. So we sprayed some diesel around the inside because someone said, be careful that it doesn't rust because obviously it's had water inside and it's now dry. It could sort of rust to it. So we sprayed diesel around the inside of it. So that'll probably be going back on soon. The 1455, bit of help really needed. The, um, it doesn't go very fast. <laughs> And for the tractor on this year, we need the tractor to do at least 30 kilometers an hour, if not 35, ideally. And this is only doing about 28. So does anyone know if it's possible to swap a couple of cogs in the gearbox or turn them round, or if there's parts available to split it and, and make it into a 40K, 1455, because the later ones were 14K. So if anyone's got any ideas, let me know. I might ring into track and see what they say, because apparently they're the ones for the bits for these. Because this is an afterthought, originally the exhaust just comes straight up without this big silencer DPF unit, dosing unit. You could get the handles off without taking the exhaust off, but now we've got to take this off to get the handles and the lights off to take this bit and the bolt in there. That one is just sheared. Just, um, just trying to lift it off now, it's, I think it's casting it down. One of these studs has snapped. Yeah, I've got it in the vise and I can just turn that in the spanner now and it's just starting to undo. I'm just slowly going backwards and forwards so as not to shear it off. Part of the exhaust system. The exhaust parts always seem to rust up. Got this out now and you can see how the water's just been lay in there and it's just dissolved half it away where my thumb is. Anyway, that bit's come out of there because it's sat, sat in hot water from when the exhaust running. I can to get that screw out with mole grips. I might get it from under here, actually, Sam. It's turning, but I'm going to try it. Yeah. It's There's the rain. Out. That's why we're in the workshop. That's... Uh, Serious rain now. Serious rain, the grids can't cope. Gutters overflowing. Some water coming out of there. Checking the sheds. All good in here. That's the problem with valley gutters though. If it overflows, the coffin can't cope. 
That one's wearing over quite nicely. Tester update. Still in the chewing stage. Suspect it will be for a few months. Where are you going now? <laughs> Should we say hello? No, nope, you're going to me back. Where's he gone? Why do the padlocks always break on the dog field in the rain? Is it just so I get wet messing with them? Got a brush, put them on top of the roof. That rain was that heavy that it just, it sort of like moved all of different bits of moss and stuff. So the gutter's got bits of silt in it. So this little brush just about fits in the valley gutter, which is what I'm walking on. So I can like walk along in a row. I'm just gonna brush all the silt out while it's still got water in the bottom and it's silty. It reminds me that when they used to say that the farmers in, in the past used to be all walking in a really straight line because they were used to following the furrow behind as a horse plow. Well, that's what you have to do here. You have to walk one foot behind the other, straight down the middle of the gutter because then you're walking on the steel and not on the roof. I hope this new phone's waterproof because it's proper raining now. There's a sorry picker at the end. You get a little bit wet, but it is the best time to sweep them out if you've got the water to sort of assist you. And any bits of stuff that might have dried up and gone hard, you can turn it into like a soup with a brush and just sweep it all the way to the end, rather than trying to scoop it up through that little gap of a bucket, because the gutter's quite light, wide in the bottom. You can't really get a trowel in wide enough. I should have asked the environment agency to come up here because they seem to think that you don't need to clean ditches out that they'll, 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 you farm differently and they won't fill up with silt Well, you tell me how this skip fills up with silt other than burn muck and dust in the air well this is only like a small roof when you think of the catchment of a river and it still fills up with silt no matter what you do and you still have to clean them out bought one there months ago to go on the roof to cut a nail in the bottom of the gutter when it arrived it didn't come in bits, so I bought the bits. Then I couldn't find this. Then I couldn't find the bits. Anyway, I've got it all now. So I'm just going to try it in the vice, cutting a bolt, and then we'll see if it works on the roof. They're like ridiculously hard, these screws. And I thought this might have cut it, but it's not. It's just blunted the, uh, the end and it focus. See, just took the teeth off that. It's a bit of a shame. That may be the problem. It says it's made for wood and plastic. This one says wood and metal, so we'll try that one. Just tried it on that there and it's cutting through it, so I don't want to blunt it till I'm on the roof. Well, that's far better. Fair update the uh, when it's off, all the grills are out, the exhausts off, and bracket things. Lights are off, handles are off. Huge sort of uh, exhaust brackets there, very cast. We're just taking the mud guards off now, and then we can start masking the cab up. Rich has been doing a bit of chipping today, so he's just got the digger just pushing the chip out of the way. Made a big hole in the pile now. Just mounting up a bit because uh, no one's been chipping properly for the last few weeks. Load there now, anyway. It goes through fast when it's been stood there a bit because it's quite dry inside. Yeah, we got a little bit of damp on this wall from before when the gutters were struggling to cope, and a little bit on the floor. Nowhere near what it did last time, but you just need to sort it out, really. So, I'm going to cut this nail off that's been causing trouble. This is the problem, that nail hanging on in the bottom of that downspout. It's in the centre of the screen. So hopefully I'll get that in now to cut it off. So this doesn't work, it's just blunted the teeth. And I can't get anything else in because it's basically underneath the roofing sheets about there. And without taking all that sheet off, that sheet off, all that up there. So I've just found that you can get a cordless die grinder, but underneath that nail there is another one just underneath it again. So I've got, hopefully I'll get a die grinder in and cut them two off. 
it always gives us trouble, especially now it's getting like pigeon feathers and things are stuck in it. Did I tell you I hate pigeons? You have a good view of the chipper up here. You see how he's got into another pile, it's quite dry. So he's feeding the chipper now with that. I'll zoom right in to test the new lens. I've only upgraded to the new iPhone because I felt like I'd worn the other one out and then he was getting through the bulk. So, good when I'm up here though. Yeah, that veil looks good now. You can see where the sprayer went there, but it's growing. That's got a good zoom actually, hasn't it? Zoom back out. See where they are. Zoom right in the cabin. Zoom back to go. It's good. Pleased with it. Just squeezing through the gap now over the header with the cherry pick and I thought, oh, I'll just check I'm not missing with the boom and look how close I actually stopped. It didn't even tap the header, but it was close. Full of dirt behind the light. Sort of outer wing off now. Just taking the back wing off. Two halves, it's a bit rusty as well, that far there. And I think there's been a cable going up from the battery into the back of the cab over the years rubbed through the, through the panel see there it's quite deep looking at all the bits all over the workshop now kind of wondering why we bothered we it's like a grey fergie now with big wheels master wheels off we're going to try pallet wrapping the tyre now so that we don't have to Mask the whole tyre. Ta da! That's that one wrapped, and then that one wrapped. So, because it's dry, we're going to paint them outside where it's well ventilated, then wheel them in. Going to mix the paint, the primer now for painting the wheels. We've got this little ruler thing. So, you put it in there and you fill it with. Oops, that's going to stay. You put the paint into there, then you put the harden into there, then you put the thinner into that little black line, and you know how um, much you got of each ratio fill that to the line on number three and then now I'll tip the hardener in until it's up to the line on number three so that's up to the second line and then now just a little bit of thinners and there, we, there we go that should be the right mix now so just stir it all up put it in the gun and we'll paint the wheels luckily we had a spare hose because that blue one's just full of moisture and it's causing problems with the paint. I'm just putting the primer on now. I just got this bucket on to move it around the yard. And it looks absolutely huge on the mini Merlot. Fits like a glove though. The problem with this bucket is when you've got it off the floor, you can't really see where you're going. It's like driving a dumper. Before anyone gets excited, that is just the primer. We're not painting the wheel silver because it's not going to be a massive replica. Just to show me, mate, the MB track and look at that sky. Just took him for a spin round the yard because it sounds a beast and the sky is just amazing. So I love a good sunset. Could do we know when the next one's gonna be actually and then I could get them all out and um, line all the tractors up in front of it. Sam's gonna finish, finish them wheels off now. I've gotta go in and get changed because we've got the chef coming doing a demo, like I said, at the uh, other farm so that we can offer the farmhouse out for hire with a chef as well. So we're gonna go and see what that's like tonight with some friends. Uh, birthday bumper time, Harry Patterson, happy birthday. Uh, Debbie from Devon, not Dallas, Devon. Happy birthday to you and Ian Wood. So uh, all birthdays today. So happy birthday to everyone else that I've not mentioned that, that may have a birthday today. Because statistically there will be quite a few. If you want to watch another video, it's up there. If you want to subscribe, it's over there. Very lucky today. We just missed a tornado. There was a tornado two miles up the road. We got the rain from it. They got the wind and it pulled roofs off houses. So a bit random there. But that was even witness in Cheshire. So right, I'll see you tomorrow.
and thanks for watching and don't forget if you made it this far click like i'll see you